Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to make a cross body bag. I am going to use yarn of 3 colors, a hook of 2.5 mm and a pair of scissors. Apart from all these things, we need zipper 2. So we are going to begin with yarn of color A and red slip knot. Now we have to do chain 1, 2, 3. We have to go back to the first chain, insert the hook in, yarn over, pull through both the loops as a slip stitch. Chain 3, which counts as a double crochet, chain 1 for chain space. Yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through 2, pull through 2. Double crochet 2, chain 1, double crochet 3, chain 1, double crochet 4. We have to do 8 double crochet with chain space of 1. So complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When we completed 8 double crochet with chain space of 1, we have to join the stitches into the third chain of the first stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add yarn of color B. So cut the yarn and pull through tightly. Now we are going to add yarn of color B. So we have to begin with slip knot. Into the chain space of 1, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through 2, join the yarn with slip stitch, chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet, double crochet 2, double crochet 3, chain 1 for chain space, into the next chain space of 1, 3 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, chain 1, into the next chain space of 1, 3 double crochet, 1, 2, 3, chain 1, follow the same pattern and complete the round, we will meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, we have to join the stitches on the top of the first stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add yarn of color C to the pattern. Now we are going to begin with yarn of color C and with slip knot. Into the chain space of 1, insert the hook and pull through, pull through 2. Join the yarn with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet, double crochet 2, chain 1, double crochet 1, double crochet 2, chain 1 into the next chain space of 1 double crochet 1 2 chain 1 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 1 follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch yarn over into this chain space of 1 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 join these stitches into the next chain space of 1 with single crochet yarn over into the next chain space of 1 6 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 join these stitches into the next chain space of 1 with single crochet follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to join the stitches into the chain space of 1 with single crochet. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add yarn of color A to the pattern. So we are going to begin with slip knot. Now join these stitches with single crochet. So this is single crochet 1. On the top of the next stitch single crochet 2, 3 on the top of the next stitch. 
now we have to go down to the fourth second and third round there are one two three double crochet into the second stitch insert the hook in pull through pull through two pull through two double crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one two three one two three four five six yarn over we have to go down to the third round from here one two and three into the second stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through two pull through two double crochet one now we have to do six single crochet one two three four five again we have to do our double crochet so follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to continue with yarn of color b now we are going to begin with slip knot join the yarn after skipping one two three single crochet on the top of the next stitch with single crochet on the top of the next stitch single crochet two on the top of the next stitch single crochet three four five yarn over half double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet one wrap the yarn two times on the hook on the top of the next stitch on the top of this long stitch we are going to do treble crochet one chain two wrap the yarn two times on the hook into the same stitch treble crochet two yarn over on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet one yarn over on the top of the next stitch half double crochet on the top of the next stitch single crochet one two three four five six seven so we have to do seven single crochet now we are going to make next corner so on the top of the next stitch half double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet one double crochet one now wrap the yarn two times on the hook on the top of the next stitch treble crochet one chain two treble crochet two on the top of the next stitch double crochet one double crochet one on the top of the next stitch half double crochet on the top of the next stitch now we have to do seven single crochet follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we have to do double crochet one after doing one treble chain two and one treble double crochet two on the top of the next stitch a half double crochet on the top of the next stitch single crochet now join the stitches on the top of the next stitch with slip stitch chain one two three which counts as a double crochet double crochet two double crochet three now we have to do one double crochet on the top of each stitch for each side of the square and for each corner we have to do into the chain space of two double crochet one double crochet two chain two into the same chain space of two double crochet one double crochet two on the top of each stitch we have to do one double crochet so follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch chain two which counts as a half double crochet yarn over on the top of the next stitch half double crochet 
half double crochet on the top of the next stitch half double crochet on the top of the next so in this round we have to do half double crochet on the top of each stitch for each side of the square but for each corner into each chain space of two we have to do half double crochet one half double crochet two chain two into the same chain space of two half double crochet one half double crochet two now on the top of each stitch we have to do half double crochet one for the side of the square follow the same pattern and complete the round we will meet again when this round would be completed when this square is complete we cut the yarn from here now this is one square we have to make three more squares for our back so complete making three more squares following the same pattern and we will meet again when all these four squares would be completed when these four squares are complete we have to put two squares in this way and the other remaining two squares in this way we just have to fold this and now we have to sew all these squares in this way so complete sewing all these ends and in the same way we have to complete sewing the back part as well so for joining them we just have to use simple stitches to insert the hook into both the back loops of both the stitches pull through again into both the back loops of both the stitches pull through we have to use yarn needle and yarn to sew these ends so complete sewing these ends and we will meet again when we have completed sewing the back when we completed sewing all these ends we are going to add yarn of color C so we are going to begin with slip knot now join the yarn with slip stitch chain 3 which counts as a double crochet on the top of each stitch we are going to do double crochet so complete this round and one more round with this color and we will meet again when these rounds would be completed when these two rounds are completed with yarn of color C we are going to join yarn of color A for next two rounds on the top of all these stitches so we are going to begin with slip knot chain 3 now on the top of each stitch we have to do one double crochet across the round we have to complete two rounds with this color so complete two rounds with this color by doing one double crochet on the top of each stitch across the round and we will meet again when these two rounds would be completed when all these four rounds are complete we have to add zipper to the mouth of the pouch with simple stitches using thread and needle now we are going to make belt for this pouch so we are going to begin with yarn of color B and with slip knot now we have to do one two three four five six yarn over into the fourth stitch insert the hook in pull through pull through all the three half double crochet yarn over on the top of the next stitch half double crochet two on the top of the next stitch half double crochet three on the top of the next stitch half double crochet four 
eyes on the top of the next stitch six on the top of the next chain two slip the work on the top of next stitch half double crochet two three on the top of the next stitch four on the top of the next five on the top of the next stitch six chain two slip the work on the top of next six stitches six half double crochet one two three four on the top of the next stitch half double crochet six chain two so follow the same pattern and make the belt to the required length and we will meet again when this belt would be completed when this belt is complete we join the other side with slip stitch the size of the belt is for about 100 centimeters now this bag is complete this pattern is very easy you can make this bag for yourself for your kids or as a gifting purpose too thank you so much